What's up YouTube, it's Hivant here. So today's video is going to be super important for international students who are planning to come to Canada or students who are already in Canada and are looking for some part-time job options. Today we'll be talking about some of the best part-time job options in Canada that will not only help you earn some income to help pay your fees and manage your expenses but will also give you some exposure to the work and social life in Canada. And even if you're not an international student and you're coming here on a PR then you can still explore these part-time job options in your initial months in Canada while you look for a proper job in your field of education. And I can guarantee that by the end of this video, you will have a pretty good idea of what to expect and what are your part-time job options once you come to Canada. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. So first of all, we will go over some of the most common jobs in Canada. These jobs will be a little easier to get but these will also offer you some of the best experience that you can ask for when starting your new life in Canada. And later on, we will also discuss some jobs that are a little difficult to get in, mostly because of some specific skills or license requirements. But because of these special requirements, these jobs also tend to pay you much higher. So first of all, let's talk about your retail job options. Now these jobs are the most common part-time jobs in Canada and you can expect to earn about $15 per hour or whatever the minimum wage is in your province. Now the first and the most common type of retail jobs is at restaurants and cafes. This includes jobs at McDonald's, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Burger King, etc. And the best part about restaurant jobs is that these places are almost always hiring. The main responsibilities in a restaurant job include taking orders, preparing food and serving the customers. And as a matter of fact, when I was an international student, I worked at McDonald's and I can tell you that it was the best experience of my life. I got to learn so much about the Canadian work life, made so many friends and had the most amazing and enjoyable time at McDonald's. Now the next category of retail jobs is at grocery stores such as Costco, Walmart, No Frills, Freshco, etc. Your main responsibilities in these jobs will include restocking the shelves, guiding the customers with finding products, helping the customers with checkout and billing. And the best part about these grocery jobs is that these grocery stores are actually massive in size and there are a lot of job opportunities all the time. And because of so many job openings, you should be easily able to find a job at these grocery chains. The next category of retail jobs are at fashion or clothing stores such as Gap, American Eagle, Zara or H&M. If you have a really good fashion sense and you like these fashion or clothing brands, then this job is perfect for you. Your main responsibilities will include providing fashion advice to customers, helping them with billing, stocking and reorganizing the clothes. Now the best retail job in my personal opinion is working as a sales associate for a phone company like Bell, Telus, Freedom Mobile, etc. Even though you will mostly get the minimum wage in these jobs, but the biggest advantage is that these jobs offer some really good commissions. When I was in college, one of my friends once worked at a phone store and he made over $2,000 just in commission in just a single month. And he also used to get a lot of free things. He once got a free phone and some other electronic items. So yeah, it's a pretty rewarding job, I would say. If you already have some sales experience or if you are good at talking to people and convincing them, then this job is perfect for you. Now, even though most of these retail jobs pay you the basic minimum wage in most cases, except for commissions, but if you are a good performer, then you can easily get promoted to a team lead or a manager within a few months. And that can also get you a higher salary. Now, can you guess what's the next part-time job on the list? This job is extremely popular in Canada. You guessed it right, it's Uber Eats or Skip the Dishes. This job can offer you the maximum income and the maximum flexibility at the same time. You can easily make 20 to $30 per hour doing Uber Eats or Skip the Dishes. And the best part is that you can work your own hours whenever you see fit. If you have your exams or assignments coming up, then you can choose to do less work. And if you think you have more time on hand, then you can easily increase your hours for that week. In my opinion, this is the best job for you if you have a car or if you're planning to buy a car. You can also do uber eats on foot or on a bicycle but i think it's not really a feasible option in canada unless you live downtown in which case everything is nearby and if i were to go back to my college days i would have definitely chosen this option because it pays you the most with the least amount of effort or hard work required plus i love to drive the next category of jobs is on campus jobs 
So first of all, you can choose to become a teaching assistant, a TA or an RA at your college or university. The main responsibilities include assisting students with their homework or labs and helping professors with checking papers or conducting examinations. These jobs are mostly open to some experienced students, so second year students or above. These are not open for first year students because they don't have that experience and sometimes universities or colleges prefer students who are pursuing their master's degree or higher in these specific roles. You can also find some jobs at the library help desk or the college admin help desk at your school. In these jobs, you will mostly assist students with university or college resources and maybe do some administrative work on the computer. In my opinion, these jobs are pretty relaxing jobs. So if you want to have a chill on-campus job, then you can definitely explore these options. For these on-campus jobs, you can easily make from $16 to $18 per hour, which is much better than minimum wage jobs. And since these jobs are on-campus, you also have the ability to work more than 20 hours per week if you need to. And in my opinion, these jobs are best for you if you choose to live on campus because you won't have to spend any time in traveling. But the only downside is that these jobs are a little hard to get because there's not too many job openings and there are so many students on campus who are willing to take up those roles. So if you see any such job on campus, then be sure to apply as soon as possible so that you increase your chances of getting that job. The next job is that of a teller at a banking institute. So you can work at any of the banks in Canada as a teller and these jobs should be especially attractive to you if you are from finance or business background. As a bank teller, you can make up to $17 per hour, which is really good. And the main responsibilities will include assisting bank customers with their banking needs, depositing or withdrawing cash or checks for customers. These jobs are a really good place to start if you plan to have a career in the banking industry once you graduate. This will offer you a lot of opportunities to make connections with people at banks and the bank can also offer you a full-time job after graduation. Now the next category of jobs is regulated jobs. The first job in this category is that of a security guard. Security guard jobs are really popular amongst international students in Canada and these jobs can offer you $16 to $18 per hour which is pretty good. The main responsibilities will include doing security rounds around the buildings and monitoring cameras or other security equipment. The best advantage of a security job is that you can do multitasking. So let's say you have a night shift as a security guard then you can do your assignments or project work while working and also getting paid at the same time but you will have to get some licenses and certifications before you can get to work as a security guard the second job on the list is that of a forklift operator now this job is not extremely popular amongst international students but it pays you really good you can easily make 18 to 20 dollars per hour as a forklift operator in canada but you need to get a license before you can get a job as a forklift operator now the final job on the list is that of a bartender now the job description is pretty obvious you need to serve alcohol to customers and to be able to serve alcohol to others you need to obtain a license in Canada now this is mostly a minimum wage job but the best part is that you will be able to make a lot of extra cash because of all the tips that you can get especially on the weekend so if you like being around alcohol and you can get the license to serve it then this might just be the best job for you so that was the entire list guys. Let me know if I missed out on any specific jobs. If you need any help in applying for jobs or if you have any specific questions, then feel free to follow me on Instagram and let's have a chat. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such videos about life in Canada. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye.